All right, let's talk about Tyree Wilson, seventh overall selection by the Las Vegas Raiders, edge rusher, who I was critical of coming out of the draft, but maybe had his best game maybe ever against Chicago. Uh, let's talk about, first, I got to kind of explain why I was critical of him coming out of the draft. I've made longer videos that you can search if you want to, but the, you know, a short version of it is more or less that he's someone who really good athleticism, only like good production. It wasn't bad production. Like I didn't hate him. Like I have hated some other prospects. Uh, you know, uh, if you've been following the channel, you know how much I hated the Trayvon Walker selection because he had like no production and was mostly drafted due to athleticism. Trayvon Walker wasn't that. He did have some production. It just wasn't quite as much as some other players, so I was a bit colder on him. However, there is always a way that that kind of player can work. Usually, it's just you have to develop them. They're not going to hit the ground running. They're not going to be great right when they enter the league, but they can get good and get better as their careers go on. We saw that with Rashawn Gary, for an example. doesn't always happen. In fact, it usually doesn't, but there are examples of it happening. And Tyree Wilson maybe showed some flashes here against Chicago that can get you optimistic if you're a Raiders fan. So first, let's look at his overall season pro football focus grades. I know PFF grades, not everyone's cup of tea, but it's just, let's just look at them. Uh, I think they're pretty good. I think they tend to be pretty accurate, especially when it comes to edge rushers. But you see right here, uh, rough numbers, no getting around it. For the season, rough numbers, 42.3 grade. That is 105th out of 109 eligible edge rushers. Run defense is a little bit better, but it's still below replacement level at that point. Pass rush, uh, even worse. So not great stuff. However, if you look at his game by game numbers, as you see, this is a little bit more promising, right? I mean, he's played seven games at this point. Three games, he did have a grade in the 50s. Three games, he had a grade below the 50s. In fact, all of those were, you know, 40 and a half or lower. So that's not good. Basically got taken out of the game on those ones. However, you see week seven. Whoa, that's not just like a decent grade. That's like a really good grade. Like I also made a video, I'm not sure which one I'm going to post first, but about Will Anderson Jr. Uh, and, you know, I've kind of, I use uh, as a positive his pro football focus grade. Well, the grade that Wilson put up in week seven is better than Will Anderson Jr.'s PFF grade on the season. So that's good. That's promising. 28 snaps. He wasn't out there every play. But what happened? Is, is he great? Well, I mean, he did make some good plays for sure. Like, we're going to start off with this play you see on the screen. It's going to go up one-on-one -on -one against Larry uh, Borum, who is, you know, not exactly a superstar, but I wouldn't put him in the category of, like, a guy who doesn't belong in the NFL or anything either. He was a fifth-round pick from a couple years ago and kind of plays like that. That's kind of where his, you know, where he's at. Really probably should be a backup player, in my opinion, from what he's shown so far uh, in his career. But watch what's going to happen with, uh, with Tyree Wilson here. Right off the bat, and this is something I still do have to say, and, and this is a big criticism I had of him in college, is I still don't feel like he's a great technician. He doesn't really use his hands to his benefit, and this is why, you know, people sometimes fall in love with these kind of prospects of like, oh my god, you can get production without using your hands, uh, what if I can teach you to use your hands? Well, a lot of times that's easier said than done, but here... Sometimes you don't always need it because uh, Borum on this play doesn't really get his left arm, his left hand on Tyree Wilson the way you would want. And because of that, watch Wilson just run by and he you know, barely gets slowed down, is able to generate that pressure. So close to getting a sack there. But again, you'll take the pressure. Really good stuff there from Tyree Wilson. Like going over here, this is going to be another one where it's going to be, again, a one-on-one -on -one matchup uh, here. It's going to be against a tight end, though. So, all right. Not the toughest of matchups. In fact, it's a mismatch. On third down and six, the Bears are just trying to run out the clock, right? Only three and a half minutes left in the game here. So that's the way this is going to work. But watch what Wilson is going to do to this tight end. Watch him really drive him further back, is able to then reach out and make a tackle on the uh, running back, or at least help make a tackle on the running back. Again, this is what you expect him to do. It is. I mean, you're a guy who's, you know, your selling point is your strength. You're going up one-on-one -on -one against a tight end. You got to beat that tight end and you got to beat him handedly. But he did. And that's a benefit because that does make it difficult. In the running game, it's like, okay, well, do we want to just put a tight end against him? I don't know. Even to make the Trayvon Walker uh, comparison again, well, Trayvon Walker hasn't been great uh, since entering the league. That's something that he does very well uh, and still does. Like, there's 
tangible benefits for your football team if you can do that. Now, going over here, I do still have to say, again, going to be one-on-one -on -one against uh, Borum once again, there still are times when I'm like, yeah, there's there's room for improvement here. And that could be a bad thing because you're not there yet. Could be a good thing. There's ways you can find, you know, a way to win. We'll watch how one this play begins. You're going to see right off the bat, uh, you know, the way this play often works, really the, kind of the key point of when you're going up against the left tackle is going to be that left arm of the left tackle. If Borm can get his right hand on kind of the right shoulder pad area or the right pec area of Wilson, you're going to look all right. We'll watch how, you know, Tyree Wilson looks like he's kind of going with a move right here. It's not anything crazy, but he is kind of trying to get sort of more towards the outside. But you see that Borm still has that left arm where he wants to. And I still just feel like you guys are so talented at the NFL level as a pass rusher, you're going to have to use your hands more. Because watch how Wilson isn't able to win this matchup. And like, you know, the reality is, especially if you're going to want to beat good tackles at the NFL level, you have to use every little trick in your toolbox. He didn't have to use these tricks in college. So it's kind of understandable that he hasn't fully become polished in this way. But if he is going to be Rashawn Gary 2.0, like Gary learned how to use his hands, right? You're going to have to do that. And like I said, it feels obvious. It feels like everyone can do it. But trust me, everyone can't. It, there is so much technique that goes into it and so much skill that goes into it. We'll see if he can do it or not. Because like going over here, if he can get sort of to the outside like that, he is going to be a deadly force where again, it's going to be a one on one block here. Watch as right when this play begins, you see that again, the hand placement, not where Borum wants uh, right there. And I, I would still say wasn't a lot of uh, Wilson's doing, although I did, did think Wilson did a little bit there, but for the most part, just didn't get the hand locked, locked on to where you would want it. And what do you do at this point? I mean, you can try to push Wilson behind your quarterback, but like Wilson's huge and strong. You're not really going to be able to pull that off. As you see, he that's what Borum tries, but it doesn't really work out well at all. You know, uh, give credit to the Bears quarterback, Tyson uh, Badgent, for being able to get outside the pocket and making something happen. So again, no things going well on the stat sheet there, but still really good stuff from uh, Tyree Wilson. And these are the kind of things you like to see if you're a Raiders fan. So this is definitely a positive. This is definitely, if you're a Raiders fan, something you look at and say, that was awesome. I'm glad that this game happened. It doesn't mean that he's now a superstar, right? There still is a lot of work that needs to be done to get him to live up to the potential that he does have. But this is a, a good first step uh, on a very long road to him being a successful NFL player. And we'll see if he can, you know, do that. And we'll keep an eye on his career as it goes along. But yeah, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.